All right, we're back. Uh, 10 after three. Uh, as you know, we didn't get back probably till just after midnight last night from Magic Kingdom. Awesome night, great Christmas day. Uh, so Boxing Day, we had a bit of a lays in. Uh, again, we're on week three now, so uh, we had to do some more laundry. So we took care of that this morning, slept in, cleaned up all the Christmas mess, gifts, wrapping paper, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, we did that. We finally got showered and cleaned up and laundry done and folded and all that good stuff. And we're off to Hollywood Studios. There's the Bubble Queen. Disney's Hollywood Studios. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, it's so hot. The heat's back. Cold is gone. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. So iced coffee today for sure. Not a hot one. Uh, like we've done the last few days. So. Madeline made her balloon choice. She got a sweet BB-8. Love it. So the last few trips, we haven't made time to do a rock and roller coaster. And if we were gonna do it, we really should have done it last trip when we didn't have Madeline. Uh, but it's kind of busy still here at four o'clock today. Four hours left in the cart. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring Madeline down. Uh, we'll do a rider swap. We just got a coffee. Uh, so yeah, we'll do rider swap. Heather can drink her coffee, Madeline can have her cake pop. I'll wait in the line myself. And then Heather will be able to do like the lightning lane uh, right after. So we should be able to get that stuff done and then we can head over to Slinky. I think it's a pretty good plan, pretty good start. Wow. That's not a 45 minute wait anymore. Like a new Tower of Terror, it's 30. All right, so in the few seconds we had that plan, uh, Rock and Roller Coaster is now 70 minutes, so that ain't happening. Hello. Probably, yeah. I get our rider swap, please. Sure, yeah. Who's going to be waiting outside first? Uh, my wife will wait. I'll go first, right? Or do you want to go? No, you go. Okay. All right, so a slightly different plan. Rider swap. Uh, Tower of Terror instead. That's okay, because Madeline's not into it anymore. I gotta love her, she did it those first few times, so... I could force her, she doesn't want to do it again. All good. On the bright side, it's just 30 minutes. But it doesn't seem 30 minutes. We'll see. discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension.
So I just got off Tower of Terror. It was absolutely hilarious. So when I went into the pre-show, the guy, like I started like laughing at something. And anyways, I could feel something right next to me. And I look over and the guy is just like, right like here, right next to my face. Who, like, the attendant? The attendant. Oh, okay. It was hilarious. So I started to crack up laughing and he just stayed there. And he was there for almost the entire pre-show, mm. just at me. <laughs> Amazing! I loved it. So it was a good one. It was really good. I was on the, in the front for our left. Awesome though. I, I love the attendant. I was like, I appreciate you. I really appreciate you, attendant. So glad you got amazing. to do it again. Yeah. Amazing. Come on. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Our terror wasn't really even on the agenda today, but. Uh, how can you not do it when the opportunity arises? Again, you know, like pay attention to like posted wait times. Tower of Terror was 30 minutes, uh, but it was virtually a walk on. So between the two, uh, you know, we were able to both do it child swap, bathroom, coffee within an hour. So that's pretty good. How you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Good. Good. Really manageable temperature at five o'clock, I was this saying. Is, this is nice, actually. Yeah, like. I'm not too hot or anything like that. The sun no. is going down. When it's like full on sun, you're definitely sweaty. <laughs> yeah, so I mean so like... This is good. Just after Christmas Boxing Day, the temperature seems to be up. Yes. But for what we're told, this is unseasonably warm even for Florida, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. So like, you know, we picked the good year. Uh, color's so nice to go an hour. Yeah. The picture just comes up pretty. I love this camera, I have to say. I can't wait to edit all the footage. Good. If you didn't know, Ryan does most of the lugging with the camera. I do a few shots every now and then. Yep, that's right. Mostly I'm a designated stroller pusher. Yeah. Yeah. So any of those up close and personal shots, that's like Indiana me. Jones, if you've seen those yet, those up close tight shots. Yep. That's Heather. Yeah. And uh, if it's wide in that show, that'll be Ryan. Yep, so, you know, yeah. I mean, we, we both, you know, multiple cameras generally per show. Yeah. A couple different angles for you. Yeah, but then I do all the editing. That's all me. Yeah, Heather does 100% of the editing. <laughs> yeah. I do 99% of the filming, but yeah. she does 100% of the editing. Exactly. Yeah. We've had a lot of questions about like, what equipment we use. Yeah, lenses, filters, gimbal, bags. So it's not cheap, it's an investment, but for us it's worth it. We like... It's what we like to do. It's our hobby, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago, if you were here with your family, your dad might have had a good camera, you know? Or, uh, you know, something nice to record it on because he wanted to remember, you know, the family trips or your mom or whoever. Yeah. Uh, so it's no, no different except, it's, you know, video behalf, and pictures now, just not pictures. In Andy's backyard. I want to wish you the happiest of holidays. Oh, thanks, Woody. Thank you, Woody. Sun setting on Toy Story Land. Oh, yeah. It's all circling over the that you probably have already seen, and if you haven't. Yeah, if you've seen our other nighttime vlogs, yeah. Yeah, where that used to be. So nice. Guess what time it is? Slinky time. You ready, Slinky? Yeah, you ready? All right, so now we're going actual freehand. Taking you off, we'll go do Slinky. Um, so as you can see, you go back freehand, and even like the Sony A7S III, while well, it's pretty good with stabilization, it's certainly not as good as a gimbal. Uh, still got the same ND filter and all that stuff on. Hello. Reporting from Slinky Dog. And Madeline, reporting from Slinky Dog. <laughs> yeah! Super good. So excited, love Slinky Dog. Yeah, yeah reporting yep, from Slinky Dog. Madeline's going with Mommy this time, she did Daddy last trip. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good.
got all done. Uh, swirling saucers spin. Uh, we're on the way to Smuggler's Run going into bed two. Uh, five after six, so we got about an hour and a half. Uh, so the one good thing about swirling saucers was just happened. It, was, it gave us a chance to evaluate, like evaluate uh, the rest of our plans for the week. So. Uh, we got like seven days left still. I know I said this a lot, but it feels like we've been here forever. Uh, but we're gonna do Universal now. We've chosen Universal, Butterbeer, Harry Potter, Velocicoaster, all those wonderful things. Uh, that's all gonna happen now tomorrow. So, boo, yeah, to that. We're gonna have manual, uh, Madeline and annual pass because it's 202 US for one day and tomorrow's blocked out. So, here we go, loop de loop, right? It's actually cheaper for me to buy her an annual pass than to buy two days worth of tickets, so I'm gonna buy her an annual pass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll go twice and it'll be like, that would have been like paying for the entire. Basically the entire pass. By going during peak times, yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah, so 202 for one day right now during peak, so it'll be 400 bucks. Uh, for two days, for two, two park, days. park hopper. And it's like only 440 or something like that for the annual AP. pass. So I'm gonna do that. And so long as we go one day within the next year, we're good to go. We're, 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 in, we're in the money. I mean, it's still expensive. I mean, yeah. you know, don't don't kid yourself on that. You're still paying the money, but, but you're saving. Back, so. so yeah, it's our time now for Smuggler, anyway. Yeah, boy, smuggler's run. I don't know if we'll get the pilot or what we're gonna get to do. Uh, Madeline's excited to pilot again. She wants to pilot with me. I don't know if she'll get a chance to or not, but we're gonna find out soon. It's super cool. Yeah, we'll do it with her. I love it. Hopefully, the Onaka uh, animatronic is working now. I uh, will see when we get into the next room. I'm sorry I could not be there to welcome you in person, but the worship is fun. Amen. Three. Three's perfect. Only my three's only right this way for me. Three. I need two pilots in front. We're going to hold right here. Okay. We're going to have to find everybody else. You're a pilot again. Three, you too. Yep. She should have the same joystick oh, yeah. as last time. Yeah. Stand right there, sweetheart. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck to you all. You might. Gracias. Your seatbelts go outside to inside for you. This one's locked. Um, Mine's yeah. locked too. Yep, here you go. There we go. Just have your seatbelt go under your fan okay? Good. Okay. Alrighty. Can you pull that yellow strap on the side for me, sweetie? Perfect. <laughs> and my gunner, can you pull yours as well? Perfect. Alright, engineers, pull the yellow strap. Alright, hit Perfect. the flashing button for the whole flight for crooks. May the force be with you. <laughs> Flight engineer, repair test. It's your flashing button. What? To fly right and left. Yeah. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right. Pull back on the stick to fly up. And push forward to fly down. Only one gunner. So, weapons are on right. Left pilot in the booster. Now let's go get that to our job. Right pilot, make the jump to light speed. Take an easy back shot! 
There it is. After that plane. Flight engineer, fire the harpoon. Save the last now, gunners. Shoot the cargo free. The pilot brain. Oh, my friend, that could have been much worse. for life forms. <laughs> you see, this happens sometimes when you travel to the uncharted regions of the <laughs> All right, I'm right. making an executive decision. Everybody out. Go on, go on, get out. Out, out. Good job, dude. What do we do? This thing is practically scrap metal. We got so many points, it's amazing. How'd you do, Madeline? Awesome. Was that fun flying? Yeah. Yeah, you're a good pilot, right? So cool being here tonight. Ah, I can't wait to have my lightsaber in a couple days. That's been three years, I guess, in the making. We did the droid when we came here for opening weekend. Uh, held off on the lightsaber. So what's up? What are we doing now? Uh, we're going to get pictures of this lightsaber. Yeah, so we were going to go back and do... Uh, rock and roller coaster. Yep. But we're going to do Mickey and Minnie's Runway Railway first. And then we'll yeah. go do Rock and Roller Coaster. And then we'll head out and go back to the pool, right? Yeah. Sound deal? Exactly. So we're just leaving Batu. We're still trying to get a lightsaber. Three weeks here. Disney, come on, make this easier. Uh, the online booking system. So you get it, and of course, there's probably 42 million other people trying to get that one time slot. Because it's hard enough we have a park reservation system. Maybe one shows up tomorrow, 8 a.m., but I can't get in here for 8 a.m. Or can I? Can I get in here for a reservation even if I don't have a park reservation? No. Like you a, have to have a park reservation in order to come in and build. Unless it's after 2, which is park hopping time. But that's what I'm saying. If we had a reservation for a fancy restaurant in the park, even without a park reservation, you'd be able to get in. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't? No, you wouldn't. Ah. You'd have to have a park reservation to attend your dining reservation. You'd have to have both. So then, Savi should be set up in such a way that 
you are not able to book a reservation for Savi unless you already have a park reservation. Because I know that that's not how it's set up now. People are just booking them, changing them, booking them, changing them, hoping to find a park reservation, canceling, and throwing out people who obviously want the reservation. So, anyway, this system's frustrating when combined with the park reservation system. I'm booked in for one, but Madeline wants one, you know, of course now, and you can't get a kid's one. And I can't reserve, like modify my reservation up to two people. Well, let's do the ride and then go from there. Okay. You're, you're not dying hungry? I'm not dying hungry. Okay. Well, maybe we do that. Maybe we see if we can get a Giordano's delivered. Okay. All right, if Uber Eats or something after? Yeah. Come on, let's go get on the fun train. I wonder if they fix the wall. Do you think? Oh no. You want to take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you there. Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here locomotive? Hey, sure, Goofy, that sounds like fun. Thanks. Be back in a jiffy to pick you all up. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. I don't know how. I love that ride. All right, folks, friends, amigos, compadres. It's time to head out of the park. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're gonna go swimming. We're gonna order that Giordano's pizza. Francis, uh, Ellis. This is for you. This is for you, for you and Craig. Giordano's tonight. Um, yeah, it's been on the list since I saw those deep crust cheese pulling videos you posted on Insta. Uh, Francis in Orlando on Instagram, so you'll find her. Great food pics, all that kind of stuff. Uh, she loves to eat and we love to watch. Good night from Hollywood Studios. We got to the park for a few hours, leaving eight o'clock to go swimming, get some pizza. We still had a great day, you know? It doesn't need to be all day, but it can be. It can be an evening, it can be a morning, it can be whatever you want it to be. Just get out, I think, and do something. I think it's a message and enjoy your time. So, anyway, we're out. Heading back to the car. Good night. From Hollywood Studios.